I wanted to show you my morning routine, right? Um, this is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. Um, I use this because it has 4% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. I hope you can see this clearly. Yes. So for a few weeks now, I've been suffering from acne. You can see my face is clearing up though. Um, this is something I've never had in my life. So <laughs> I was pretty shocked. I woke up one morning and poof, it's everywhere. So I had to do a whole lot of research, you know, but this video is just to quickly show you what I do for my morning routine. So I use this to wash my face with warm water and be sure to wash your face for at most one minute. It has to be between 45 seconds to one minute. You don't want to wash it longer than one minute because you don't want to dry out your skin nutrients and you don't want to under wash it so 45 to 1 minute is recommended time for your face wash let's get to it so don't forget to use one more on your face and be sure your hands or your hands are clean when washing your face yes put a bit on your hand as you can see it's almost finished like it's empty after hot order for a new set right so it doesn't ladder a lot but it is not how much it ladders that works on your skin over time i've come to understand that you know before when we used to buy soap and it doesn't ladder i'll be like oh this soap doesn't work but you just this is all you need for your food so this is what you do gently for 60 seconds don't forget you can put a timer and just make sure you wash your face nicely nicely slowly you know don't forget to walk under your necks use your fingers walk through your face you know just be sure you do this for for the next one minute <laughs> how does it feel well it's smooth feels good doesn't feel um there's no alcohol so it doesn't hurt yeah you would want to stay from um alcohol and you want to stay fragrance free so get products that do not contain alcohol because at this time your skin is sensitive because of the acne so stay away from alcohol based products and fragrance product so be sure to buy fragrance free product and non-alcoholic product so it is important to check your ingredients when you buy these things and most importantly to deal with acne depending on what type you have you want to get product with salicylic acid and benzoyl benzoyl peroxide so this one has four percent what it does is go through your pores and you know um work on the roots i mean from where the acne springs up from yeah I you that. so don't forget we have to do this for 60 seconds and then you wash it off wait one water Yes, yeah, so we are done washing off um, our cleanser from the face and you want to be careful because of little bacteria your hands might pick so you have to be very careful how do we dry our face you either use paper towel those thick 
paper towels because you can just dry your face and dispose them if you're not able to get like face towels that you do not have to repeat so once you use one today you have to use another one tomorrow you have to learn to wash them every day because you cannot repeat them okay so or i like to let my face air dry so i like it to just dry off naturally but for the purpose of this video and because i don't want to take our time i will have to use a clean towel to dry my face so learn to have towels for your face and it is also advisable that you don't use the same towel you use to clean your body after bath after shower on your face because i mean those towels pick bacterials every now and then that's why the advice so paper towel you use and then you just um paper yeah so just thick tissue paper you use and then you dispose so i just like to let it air dry to be safe i can't shout <laughs> yeah okay guys <laughs> i let the face air dry and as you can see our face is dry but you want to leave it damp so that you can apply your hyaluronic acid 2% plus b5 this is from the ordinary yeah as you can see it's almost finished can you see where it is yeah yes so um i'm going to be replacing all these products like i say you apply it when your face is still damp if you don't let your face over dry if it's over dry just wet your hands a bit because you need it damp to apply this on your face so what i do in order to be careful I do this, I put three drops on my hand. You know, some people like to do this on their face, but be sure this doesn't touch your face because it might pick bacteria. So I just want to play safe. I put it on my hand, three drops of it. And then you apply the press method, I think, or however you choose to apply. That's what I like to do, you know. Most times I like to go first on the area of concern, you know, and hey, don't forget um, your application is from lightweight to thick. What do I mean? You apply your water-based serum, and then you can go to oil-based and then you can go to moisturizer. So it's from the lightest to the thickest. So yes. This is it. This is how I like to apply. I don't leave my neck left out. I always advise you as well. Your neck. Your neck. So what does this do? It actually hydrates your skin. Leaves it plump. Feels really good. It's very lightweight. Feels like I'm applying water on my face. So I like to do this until it absorbs on my skin. So you can either do this apply it or let it sit for like two minutes you will know when it does that on your skin before you go to the next serum so yes okay yeah that's it so the next serum for me is niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent you can see this is from the ordinary see where this is it's almost finished as well but because i bought this in 60 ml that's why it looks slightly bigger than this you can see the size yeah so this makes me glow you know but the actual um benefit of this is to actually um clear the dark patches dark spots you know help brighten your face and then take off this dark spot so you want to do the same thing with this one you take three drops as well you can do this do this do this for three but i like to do this because i like to see <laughs> because i like to see what i'm applying so most times i want to do this first on the area of concern like i say and don't forget this is also water based so it's from the thinnest to the thickest application so do the cream cream because the first one has already absorbed into the skin so you want to use the cold press method or press something method i don't know what it's called man 
but just apply it the way that feels comfortable what is of utmost important to you is to make sure that your hands are clean and bacteria free so at that point you're not touching anything else till you're done with your facial routine can you see the instant glow instant glow can you see it can you see it <laughs> It makes you glow like instantly. That's why I love this product. And like everybody says, it's a holy grail. <laughs> it's sure worth it, you know. So, yeah. So, you want to let it sit for a while before you apply. If you have an oil based um, serum, say like the rose hip seed oil before you apply whatever it is but be sure that you're not adding vitamin c serum to this because according to them <laughs> the owners of this product i mean the ordinary says you cannot mix vitamin c serum with this so you may want to alternate them if you use the niacinamide or you can apply niacinamide today tomorrow vitamin c that's what i mean by alternate them you don't have to use them the same day or you use the vitamin c in the night if you use this one in the morning yeah so we'll let this one i like to leave it for like three four minutes i know it's really absorbed into my skin before i apply my moisturizer so i don't do a lot for my morning routine it's just the first one hyaluric hyaluronic acid for hydration and then this one to help me clear you know like this patches it has high strength in vitamins and mineral blemish formula according to them so yeah um, it can be used for both morning and evening routines it can be used anytime but because i have other products i use in the evening i like to just stick to this in the morning so for my moisturizer, I like to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Extra Dry. I don't have a dry skin. I have a combination skin, probably oily combination oily skin or oily combination skin. But I use this one because it is fragrance free and it is alcohol free now there are two types of this they have the neutrogena hydro boost gel cream the difference is that one has fragrance this one doesn't so for acne prone skin you want to stay away from fragrance based products this is really good you can get any of the good moisturizers but from research this comes first so you want to apply your moisturizer so it's almost empty like it's almost finished i've been i've been on this for like a while now so you want to apply your moisturizer i don't wear a lot of it i do the same thing just apply nicely we subtle on your skin you want to pump it you want to take care of it you don't want to inflame it, you know, just pump it nicely. Am I still glowing? <laughs> it's this simple, right? So, yeah, we're going to go through this journey together. I'm happy making this video. Yeah. Yes, so moisturizer done. And then I like to stay well, you know, like five minutes before I apply my sunscreen. Please, guys, sunscreen is a must. You must apply sunscreen. You don't want the UV rays hitting you left and center. I even researched, you know, I used to also make this mistake. Oh, I'm home today. I just apply when I get to this stage or this level of the application. I chill. But you get to open your doors, you get to open your windows. So from my research, rays from your windows, from your doors, from the TV, from your phone can also damage what you've applied. So if you're home, it's advisable to use SPF 30 plus or 30 because you're home. If you're going out in the sun, 
get an SPF 50 get what works for your skin yes so at this point we are going to apply our sunscreen i'll be right back yes yeah, so it's time to apply the sunscreen i use the hawaiian tropic silk hydration hydration and this is spf 50 it's very high and be sure to look out for what's it called water resistance most of them are not water resistance that way when you sweat when you have water on your face the sunscreen still helps protect your face so as you can see this is spf 50 it's written uva uvb uv protect it tells you that it is very high as you can see so application of sunscreen the measurement is your two fingers so you want to be sure okay we can see right you want to be sure you get this measurement right everything is finishing though and this thing is so expensive god right yeah so that's how you measure for sunscreen application you want to um get sunscreen that doesn't leave white cast on your face right so that's how you apply you apply the sunscreen until it sits into your skin nicely then if you want to make up you still can nicely wear your makeup on it and you're sure that you are okay so just apply it until it sits finally into you face don't worry this one doesn't leave white cast <laughs> most of them know better they make like sunscreens you know and i like to apply on my neck as well on my ears i don't want my ear getting dark and my face looks good so you see i still glow <laughs> yeah i just apply it can apply any lip balm that's it guys i just apply my lip balm to make me don't you like my lip <laughs> uh. yeah that's all my morning routine i'm glad we're doing this together we'll go on this journey together so this is it for my morning routine very simple steps your cleanser you wash your face for 60 seconds you apply the hyaluronic acid for hydration it depends on what you're targeting depends on what your concern is um, as long as it's water based you can apply if i was looking for shine first this would go first but you also want to hydrate your skin and then you put this one then you add your oil before your moisturizer okay so this is what i use for my morning and do not forget your sunscreen very important you want to stay safe you want to play safe you want all of these things to actually work right so you have to protect your face it's very important after washing your face with your acne foaming cream cleanser don't forget that you would have to use a toner so what i use is the thea's facial toner this has witch hazel aloe vera formula and it's rose petal it's a very popular toner what does this do actually it's not compulsory but this just helps set your face for the treatment you want to apply so once you dab your face or you air dry it or you clean it you use the flat cutting pad you know you know how it is done and then clean your face nicely before you start applying your serums and moisturizer i'm sorry i guess i forgot to use this so i thought to add it because my face is already 
ready i'm not making up today but i already have my sunscreen because i'm even recording with light so these are rays dropping on my face but hello with my sunscreen i know i'm safe so you want to use a toner that is alcohol free and fragrance free don't forget at this point your face is extremely sensitive alcohol may inflame those pores and that is not what you want so you want to set your face with a free toner you can check for different toners that are alcohol free as you can see this is alcohol free it's written here so i like to use this because of the aloe vera in it aloe vera is very good for acne as well the witch hazel and then it's natural i mean rose petals so this is what you want to use i had to quickly come add this so thank you so much guys for for doing this with me in our next video i'll be showing you talking about my night routine as well um if you like this video please like please subscribe please share to your friends and ask them to sub subscribe comment tell us what you want us to address what your concerns are and we will work through this together thank you so much have a nice day kisses